Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do the concert tag video. So I've got a lot of questions on my phone that have been sent to me by my best friend Hannah. So let's get started. So the first question is how many concerts have you been to in total? I cannot answer this question because I do not know. I do not know how many gigs I've been to because as everyone knows I like my big artists like The Vamps, Little Mix, Westlife but then I also like my unsigned artists like Jason Allen, like Day, um, Sean Jones so all of them put together add it all up it's a lot of gigs and I don't know how many and I don't really want to add it all up so let's not um, what was the best concert you've been to? I've got two. I've got two best concerts. So my top two are Demi Lovato, when I went with Hannah, and I went to see her in Manchester for the Tell Me You Love Me tour. Unreal. And my second one was Jessie J um, in her Alive tour. I kid you not. One of the best things I've ever seen. Best things. What was the worst concert you've been to? I actually don't have a worst one. Like, there's been a few times at like a smaller gig that I've been like with my friends and we've kind of looked at each other going, it's a bit naff this. But then I think it was because like a support act was on that we weren't too keen on or there was like other fans that were just doing our head in. So we just were like, uh, like, uh, you're doing me head in, shut up sort of thing but I haven't actually got like a worst concert there hasn't been a concert where I've been like oh, okay can this like end now like I've enjoyed the majority um the best opening act I've seen oh now this is a tough one because I like my support acts I like I like all that very much um so I'm going to say there's three, there's three, top three I think. So my first one, I actually think it was Carly Rae Jepsen. When I went to see Justin Bieber's Believe tour, Carly Rae Jepsen was very good and I enjoyed her a lot. Um, the second one has got to be Sabrina Carpenter. When I seen the Vamps do their tour in... 2017 yeah 2017 and it was unreal oh uh, like she touched my hand she went past the stage and I was like fangirl moment completely and the third one is Nathan Sykes when he supported Little Mix what was your most recent concert and where was it my most recent concert was the Jonas Brothers happiness begins tour in February of this year, it was in Manchester because I've seen Demi Lovato and now I've seen the Jonas Brothers so life, childhood, complete. Um, furthest I've travelled for a concert. I live in the Wirral and I have travelled to Minehead which isn't that far in like in comparison with like some die hard fans that will like travel like across the world um but to get from like one end of the country to the other which was for westlife during their turnaround tour which they did in butlins in minehead in a tent and that was the first time i'd seen westlife live properly as well um, would I travel further? Um, it depends on the artist and it depends who with. Um, how old were you when you went to your first concert? So my first concert um, was Disney Channel Kids Awards Roadshow in 2001. So I was four when I went to this. And it was, so Disney Channel Kids Awards, it says what it is on the tin. So it there was an award show in the UK, in London, years ago, that Disney Channel presented. So, it was, yeah, it's like Kids Kids Choice Awards, but back then it was Disney Channel. And so it was everyone who, like, won awards, like, best single, best boy band, whatever it was. 
and they performed live. So it was like Westlife, Atomic Kitten, I think Hearsay back in the day. But yeah, so that was my first one when I was four years old. Started early, my friends, started early. Um, have you seen your favourite artist live? Yes, I would definitely say I've seen my favourite artist live. Demi Lovato is mine. Um, are there any upcoming concerts that you're going to? Other than Jason Allen's gig in September, no. There's no one at the moment. The Vamps haven't done a tour yet. Little Mix, obviously, have just finished their tour, like, end of last year. So we will see what comes up. Um, are there any concerts that you regret not going to? Yes. So I regret not going to the JLS's Goodbye tour that they did. They did like a matinee performance and I got offered a ticket. And because it was the day after my birthday, I'd planned to like spend that day with my friends. So I said no. I said no to going to JLS for my friends that I'm no longer mates with. Yeah. Favourite concert experience? Mine was when I met the Vamps during their tour. Um, I went with Hannah and we ended up meeting with a load of like my friends and we all queued up together and we were all like very 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 excited and for me it was the first time I've ever met them so like we paid extra to meet them so it was like £99 extra and uh, just that whole experience of like going in the arena early going backstage and then just being like wow seeing the arena like completely empty as we walked in and obviously meeting them as well it was unreal absolutely unreal and i wouldn't have done it with anyone else other than the girls um any life-changing moments at a concert i've been to like smaller gigs i've ended up meeting friends so like i went to a gig in 2016 where i met Hannah, who you've all seen on my videos before, and we've been friends ever since that gig. So it's like, just amazing experiences. Like, because of artists, I've met so many weird and wonderful people who put up with me. So thanks, guys. <laughs> do you go for the bargain price seats or do you try and get as close to the stage as possible? I get as close to the stage as I can. At, like, I would rather go and see a show once and have amazing view than to save the money and go to a few, like, of the same show. Because I know a lot of people go to, like, a whole tour but only buy the tickets in the boonies. Like, no thank you, no thank you. I'll just stick with my hometown if I can get very, very close. I'll do that. Um, do I buy merch at the venues? I didn't buy any merch literally for years until I started buying a top every tour. Um, so I've bought a Demi Lovato one, I've got a Vamps one, um, I've got a Little Mix one. I also do it for the theatres as well, so I've got a Rock of Ages one. Oh yeah, I've got a Jonas Brothers one. Um, so yeah, I like to buy a top, but then other than that, top, maybe a wristband, and that's it. Um, have I ever been noticed by the artist while at a concert? Yes. So I've been noticed a couple of times. So when I was younger, I went to Westlife. The boys were just about to sing Fool again. And when I was younger, that was my favourite song. And I remember my mum was like, Nikki, Nikki. It was like shouting because we, we were quite close with him. We were like four row. So we were dead close. And um, my mum was like shouting and like pointing to me. And Nikki noticed and was like, yeah, it's for you. Like that sort of thing. Obviously not on the mic, but just like, yeah, it's for you sort of thing. And gave me a wave. And that was very, very cute. When Harvey was announced to do the Vamps tour, I got very emotional because I was a fan of him when he was unsigned and not famous and so I did a banner that had 
picture of me when I met him in 2014, picture of me when I met him in 2016, now you're in the Echo Arena sort of thing. Um, and I hel held it up and I was front row. I was front row for this gig. When he came on, I was like holding this banner and, and all this. And he did notice it. He did notice it. And then because I had a letter of it, a letter on the back of it, I took a picture of the banner and then what it said on the back and tweeted him with it and got like people to retweet it and stuff. And he noticed it. He noticed the tweet and liked it and stuff like that. And I was like, right, so he, at least he knows what's on the banner and at least he knows what's on the letter. Because I was like saying how proud I was of him and oh my God. It was a lovely little moment. It was the fangirlist moment I've probably had for a very long time. Um, have you ever caught anything that the artist has thrown into the crowd? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have been gifted something that has. So... Tristan threw out a drumstick and my mate Hannah caught it for me and gave it to me because I love Tristan. And then the last one is, have you attended any meet and greets? Which I've already explained. I met I met the Vamps and I also met them doing their CD signing and I met James during the London show because I went to London to go and watch their latest tour and it was very, very good. So yeah, a lot of my gigs that I go to are The Vamps, Westlife, um, I've been to Little Mix a few times, but obviously I love the smaller gigs as well with my unsigned artists that I love very, very much. So that was my concert tag video. Thank you very much. If you have any ideas of what you want me to do, um, please put them in because obviously lockdown might be happening for another three weeks. So I've got plenty of time to entertain you lovely lot. See you later. Bye.